Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with part two of our envelope tab binding journal, tab, tab binded journal, I don't know, um, but I have already um, prepared all of my elements for covering the envelopes. We'll do in video three, we'll come back and we'll do some tags and things to put in the pockets and such. So um, I've got my coffee here. It's early in the morning. I'm trying to get, again, um, kind of get back into a little bit of a routine without being too um, strict with it for myself. I'm really working on that, really working on letting go of expectations, letting go of a regular posting schedule, just kind of doing as I please, um, because I think that that brings a whole lot more joy than that. If you're a YouTube creator, you know that you have this constant feeling of pressure that you need to keep creating phenomenal content and you need to have a regular schedule of posting of your videos. And I find that to be very smothering right now. So I am just going to go with the flow and do what makes me happy. So this was super fun. I spent the entire, so I, this is the next day after we did the video on this. And I spent the rest of the day, and my desk was looked like a bomb went off because of all the scraps, the torn scraps from creating all of these pieces. But it was so enjoyable, you guys. It was pure joy. So let's get going. Just going to take a sip of my coffee. I'm on my second cup, just about um, done with that. So um, I did not create anything for the tag. The tag I added this after the fact, but just in case you didn't see the video, um, that's our tab binding, which I thought turned out really, really good. I think in the future I would go with um, colors that are the same, um, because what I did is I took these and I flipped them over. So some of them I did on the light side, that light pattern side, and the other I did with the green. No big deal whatsoever. So I'm going to just switch this around just for my own um, my own uh, convenience here. And so in this one, so we're going to start with this this one, I think. Yeah, I think I've got to leave it like that. She's a little bit bulky, but that's okay. I've got my Fabri-Tac. I've got my Art Glitter Glue. And so what I did is I just marked each of these for what they're for. So this is the front of envelope one. And I did cut these so I may have to do some trimming because I think I might have cut that open after on some of the envelopes so if we need to do a little trimming that is quite all right so here we go so we've got this piece that's going to go in the center I thought I had inked everything too goodness gracious let me do that really quick um, a lot of this style is from Ruby and Pearl uh, Heather over there and then Heather from Ro uh, oh, Rose Hill can't remember. I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering her channel. I've been binge watching uh, her stuff, but I love their style. And I actually just watched a video today um, where uh, Heather, not Heather from Ruby and Pearl, the other Heather, <laughs> made a planner. And oh my gosh, it's so beautiful because Heather from Ruby and Pearl sells the French word for the months and I am big into that like I love that it makes me uh, it just makes my heart flutter I love it so um so I'm, I'm going to purchase some of that stuff so that I can do the same because I would love to have a journal uh, you know a planner that is more kind of aesthetically pleasing and inspiring um, but I'm not going to do that right away because I really want to think about what I want that to look like um, and and personalize it to myself. So here we've got some of my embossed paper and then we've got this um, uh, paper also from uh, Ruby and Pearl. So all of the kits that I, I did my very very best to link them all in the previous video and I will link them again in this video. Um, I don't link put them in the description box because um, I post on Facebook and Instagram at the same time via the Meta Suite in Facebook, and Instagram doesn't allow as much. So I just uh, 
dump all those links over on my blog and I put the link to the blog in the description box. So if you're looking for that, you know where to find it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place this, and I do wanna do some inking around these envelopes as we go as well. I should have done that off camera, guys, I'm so sorry. It is okay. This isn't gonna to be too long of a video because everything is already prepared. So I've got my, my Fabri-Tac, that's my preferred glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this bottom piece. It's going to go here. And if anything hangs over, I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna really embrace that look. I realized on this one I did not put any kind of a pocket um, here, but we'll we'll add something later, so no no big deal. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I want that there, and then I want the, the center piece to go over the edges of this one, I believe was my plan, even though I inked that, yeah. I'll probably speed up a little bit the um, the gluing because there's going to be a lot of it. Oh, I guess we do have a pocket. <laughs> oh goodness, I am. Uh, oh, I want to grab my inker, my makeup brush to do the um, to highlight the embossing on this. I completely forgot to do that. Give me a second because it just makes those roses pop out of the, off the paper, so it's a really great effect. I really pulled my whole drawer out of all the embossed stuff that I always forget to, to use, so there we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Then our little pocket. I think I was going to put it right here. Was I putting it here? How about we put it right there? I don't think I had really landed on the um, the destination. I am going to use my art glitter glue for the pocket because otherwise you lose a lot of landscape with the um, Fabri Tac because it's so it comes out pretty fast. There we go. Just, I just want some of that um, torn paper to peek out like like so. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any oozing glue. It looks to be good. So our next one is number one, the back. Hopefully I'll remember what I was thinking. <laughs> Even though only a day has passed. That's, okay, let's see. So I have this, this is not from Ruby and Pearl. I will, um, I'll have to remember to link this um, kit. I just love the vintage um, pictures, the images, so that's why I chose it. So I think I was going to put this up here. I, again, I didn't ink. I must have started inking at the, the end of that, or was it this way? Hmm. Nope. Boy, my brain is just not <laughs> oh my gosh because I know I have this piece of lace I think it was gonna go on the bottom but I don't think that works because it hides it hmm maybe it's gonna go at the top like so it doesn't really matter oh yeah that's perfect okay so let me ink this I did print all of these on 20 pound paper because anytime I know that I'm going to be putting them on envelopes or doing any, some kind of a folio, I don't need that extra weight of paper because it's going on a base. So, and I'm just gonna kind of vintage this up a little bit, make it look like it's been through the, through the, um, through the ringer, so to speak. So I've already forgotten what I was doing. Okay, yeah, that's going up there. So let's put this down here. Oh, I forgot to ink these edges. My goodness, I should have done this before. My apologies. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to stop apologizing. <laughs> oh, it's one of my weaknesses. So Sometimes we don't need to apologize for everything because... 
we all know that we're we're all human right and we make mistakes and it's normal yeah I was putting it down here wasn't I I don't think that was my original plan but I'm loving it there we go and then this is going to go here so I do need to ink that a little bit more because it's it might peek through that lace so oh the lace needs to go down first I think I'm going to trim that lace down because I don't want a lot of that bulk so let me just cut that down a little bit minimize the bulk okay so I'm just going to run oops glue this on perfect okay so our third one is the um, the second envelope well this is the file folder that we talked about in video one what I'm really aiming for is to cover up a lot of those tabs I don't like that look um, now it would be okay if you did uh, if you're doing a journal that had a particular theme and color then you could just make sure that they were all they all kind of went with it I don't I'm um, trying to loosen up around those things and not be too particular, but I thought I would go ahead and do this and glue these together and then make a little tuck. And I just, again, want to cover up those tabs. So let me do that really quick. Let me glue this to this. And so we're just going to make a pocket out of this. I thought it went really well with this paper, even though we're, you know, we're losing some of that, but that is just part of the process. So I think I'm going to just let it be kind of a corner tuck. So I'm going to glue on this edge and the bottom. So this edge and the there, and I'm going to use, I better use the fabric tack because this is pretty porous. So let me do that. And hopefully I can control this pretty pretty well. Not too bad. Okay. Put that down. I don't necessarily want it all the way down. Well, I guess it is going down to the bottom of the envelope is the way I cut the paper or tore the paper. And I'm going to grab a piece of parchment just to make sure that I don't get, there's no glue seepage. Um, underneath so let me just grab a piece here really quick I'm gonna tear this this is really great for putting um, oh my goodness, between your pages so that you don't get um, if you're wanting to move on and you don't want to wait for it to dry you can just stick this in a pocket or wherever to um, protect the other surfaces so I'm just going to slide that in there I'm going to actually open that up a little bit with my little metal ruler. It doesn't need to be quite that. Um, I find that Fabri-Tac does tend to spread a little bit more than, um, than our glitter glue. So there we go. Okay, and then our next one is the, oh, is the inside of this file folder which I also did not ink yet so let me try that I think in the future I would probably ink all this stuff first before I started you know putting the journal together because this is kind of a little more painful Sure we're still going in the right direction we are so open so this what I did is I took an image this is number two inside so that's the file folder and then um, yeah we've got a pocket and such so this is going to go here okay shaky this morning apparently just I'm not really focusing a lot of glue on the center because I don't really need it um, but let me just give you a little bit of insight as to how I 
chose what I was going to put on each of these. So I like to collage the different elements, especially from um, the beautiful kits from Ruby and Pearl because it just gives this really cool look. I just, I think it's, it's just neat. And so that's kind of what I was looking for. Add a little bit of lace, add um, some embossed paper, some pieces from the kits, etc., to just really complement each other and, and stick with that vibe. <clears throat> so now I've got a piece of, this is, um, I ran, this, ran into this in my coffee dyeing um, tub and I coffee dyed, I think this is, what is this? I can't remember what kind of paper it is. Um, tracing paper maybe. Um, so so we're going to use that as a second layer here and I didn't, boy oh boy, I didn't glue, um, glue, uh, ink this either. Was a little bit a little bit longer than I wanted but I think it's going to be okay because we've got things that are lower here that are going to protect it so now we're going to go ahead and glue this on um, the bottom and to the two edges and I am going to follow this line not the line of the um, of the paper so of the crinkly paper so let me just use my art glitter glue here really love this style. I, um, I, I want to spend some more time working with it. I've done videos around this style before and I really find it very pleasing and very peaceful. Um, and I love how Heather tears her paper rather than cuts it. Um, and so I'm doing a little bit of that. So those that's going to be, oh we need to put some in the middle here. Um, let me see if I can squeeze some art glitter glue in there just to separate that pocket a little bit. And I'm just gonna carefully fold that so that I can maintain that, that crease there. There we go. Okay. Why is it so stiff? That's interesting. Very stiff. Okay, and then here's number two, the back. And as all I'm putting here is this piece of embossed paper um, on this edge and that will be a side tuck. I am going to use uh, my Fabri-Tac because this is a pretty porous paper and I want it to have good adhesion. So whoops. So our next one is um, butterfly page. Uh oh. Butterfly page back. Okay, so that's this. And I just kind of used to describe this. This is my own coffee dyed stenciled mixed media paper. So I'm using that little um, piece there. And so, same thing, I'm going to create a pocket here in the same fashion that I did on the other one. love it. And again, I'm just, my aim is just to cover those tabs. So if that doesn't bother you, you don't have to fret about this part. So now we've got a pocket there. I'm not too concerned about glue seepage because we use the art glitter glue. So here is um, number three front. So again, I've got that. And what was I doing here? What was I doing here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here, Renee. Must be like that. Oh, I didn't ink this. Hold on. I don't want to forget. I just thought it looked really nice to have the things be kind of matchy-matchy as far as the green paper with the embossed um, stuff on it. So I believe that what I was doing here 
was, I think this was going up top, was it? Nope, it's going at the bottom. Gosh, my memory is terrible, you guys. I just did this yesterday. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me glue this on. Very nice. And then our pocket's gonna go here. Beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little bit of room there. So I think I'm gonna be okay with some art glitter glue here. I'm just gonna be a little bit more generous with it. Just by squeezing a little bit, a little bit harder. There we go. And that's gonna cover up those tabs. And I don't mind that. I hope, hope hopefully that's not going to create a problem. We've got some paper sticking out. I think it's going to be okay. In fact, I might just put a little bit of glue under there just to so it doesn't tear because it's kind of going to get it's going to have a little bit of pressure as this opens and closes. There we go. Love it. Okay. And this is the um, this is I was calling this the extra piece. So it's the inside, and so we're gonna put this beauty in here. Did not make a pocket for this yet, but I just thought that was so gorgeous. Oh, I need to ink. Didn't ink anything here. Again, next time I would do this first so that I'm not having to go back and fuss with it. Because it's not quite as easy to do um, when it's already put together. So, note to self, don't do that again. Now, I don't think that uh, Heather, either of the Heathers, does inking. Um, so, you don't certainly don't have to do inking. I personally love it. So, I'm going to continue with that because I love how it just makes everything so vintagey and warm. I am taking off this check mark, so I don't know if you guys noticed that. When I when I um, see how I've got a check mark here, so I put a check mark knowing that I've already created the piece that's going to go inside of it. Otherwise, I get really confused. So let's go ahead and glue this on. So that, that will be perfect. Okay, and then the back. So the back is just this little bitty piece with a pocket. Hopefully I can remember what I was doing. What was I doing? Ah! I have no idea. I have no idea. I think it was like that. And I've got another piece of that tissue paper or uh, whatever it was. I'm just going to put that on first here and then we'll worry about gluing the pocket on. I just think that's a very pleasing addition, a pleasing layer. And so, yeah, I think that's what I was thinking was going kind of like that. So we'll glue our pocket on first. So we're gluing on uh, two sides. So I this is pretty thin paper, so I think I'm okay. Again, with the um, art glitter glue, even though it's embossed. And so let me put this in place so I know. Oh, actually, I want that to go underneath. So let's make this a top into a pocket. Okay, so there we're gonna flip this page and get this edge really quick. So our next one is the um, number three. This is the number three uh, envelope. And this is the back, and again, I did not put a pocket on this yet. We will come back in the next video, in the last video, 
and um, do any um, ephemera. I might make some of the ephemera off camera, I'm not sure. Um, we might make some together. Um, some vintage scrappy tags and such, journal cards, because I want to have some images of some of the vintage children and women. There we go. <clears throat> so we will um, we'll do that together if I missed anything. I've got a CD pocket coming up that I added um, off camera and I'll need to cut. I, I said in the previous video I was going to just collage around the, the window part, but I think I'm going to use my die and do that. So this one is the large file folder. So that's this one. This is my own vintage, my own uh, paper. Um, I actually did a project, I think it was a canvas, and I took a photo of various photos of this background, which I just think turned out so delicious. So I am using that, and it doesn't really need a lot of inking because it's so beautifully vintage already. Grungy. So I'm not going to focus too much on that. So we have this is the front. So I've got a piece of lace. Uh-oh. Ooh. Anytime you paper clip lace, you can get into a pickle. I usually have to bend the the paper clip to get it out. There we go. So my idea was this was going to go here and this was going to go here to make a pocket. So let me attach this these two together. So um, how do I want to do that? I'm just going to kind of line these up so I can see how much glue I really need as far as this piece. I think just to here would be good. And we've got a little bit of a side tuck. Love that. I am leaving a little bit of room because that's the fold, that's the fold of the journal and I want to make sure that that doesn't encumber anything. Okay, and then we've got the large folder back, so I'm not sure. I think I left this because I was not sure what I wanted to do here, so we'll have to come back to that as well. So this is the piece for the um, the back side of this larger um, file folder piece and so what were we doing here I think we were um, doing that uh oh what was I thinking I think it went like that but then where was the lace supposed to go I think in between these two so yeah let me go ahead and glue the lace on here first So I have so enjoyed my meandering <laughs> um, these last uh, days, really practicing quietness and, um, you know, again, loosening expectations. I bought a, pair, a new pair of walking shoes and they arrived and they were terrible. I wore them on my walk yesterday and they were terrible. I had no arch support, even though they said they had arch support and my by the time I was done, I did two miles, and by the time I was done, my toes, my whole front of, uh, my toe part of my, both my feet were numb. Not a good scene. So this one, I took this image, which I think this is my favorite part, um, and I've got this envelope door thingy. So I'm gonna, I cut it in half, cut it down to size, cut it in half, and it's gonna be the door here. Not a pocket or anything, so we're just gonna, um, I think I'm still going to use my Fabri-Tac just because, um, because I want to. <laughs> it 
So anyway, um, thankfully I bought the shoes from Amazon so I could turn the, return them. I did wear them walking, but I was able to clean them up when I got back, so I don't feel too bad about returning them um, because they're in good in good condition. And then I turned around and ordered from a company, a private company, that has a 60-day money-back guarantee because I have a lot of trouble with my feet and finding shoes that work for me. So hopefully that's going to be a better... They were more expensive, but... A tennis shoe, a good tennis shoe lasts a long time if you get the right fit for you. So there we go. Awesome. I love that. And then the other half over here. Yay. I'm hoping you are enjoying this. I just love this uh, tab binding. It's just epic. It's going to revolutionize my junk journal, I'm telling you. Because in normal junk journaling, what I would do is I would use fabric and hinge with fabric. If I have a single page or a, and something I want to add on to uh, to a particular piece, I could just hinge it. And um, I, I don't know why. I'd never thought of that before, but I didn't. And I didn't ink this piece up. So I'm just going to try to line that up as best I can so the butterfly looks whole. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, I do think it's pretty. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and speed up a little bit because we are um, we're getting a little long here. So I'm going to, um, I'll speed up, set this to music, um, and yeah, and I'll catch you in a minute. So I'm not sure why this one is a little bit smaller than my envelope, um, but it, it is what it is, and I, I'm okay with that. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Maybe I just wanted more of that envelope to show because I love that brown look. I don't like that sticking up, but we're going to leave it because I'm doing something different. I'm living the dream. There we go. So again, no pocket there, but we will come back to that. So this is the CD pocket. So I have to do the um, the frame that's going to go around it. So I'm going to leave that for now. I do have something for the back, but let's do the inside here first. So I have a note to do the circle. So I will do that later off camera. And then this was going to go here. And then I thought I would put this picture. I didn't know if I wanted it to be kind of centralized. I can't remember. I think I had it like that. So let's glue that on. Now I could have left this a pocket, but I did not. So we'll have to come back to that. Um, some of these won't have a pocket and maybe I'll just clip something on it to um, to make it look cool. But basically what I'm going for here is I wanted to see this these numbers down here, so I'm just kind of placing that in that fashion. So again, we'll come back to the CD envelope, but I do have, oh, I thought I had the back of that. Oh, yep, back of CD envelope. Oh, lordy, lordy, what was I doing? <clears throat> <laughs> what was I doing? I had this here and I had this up here and then I had this lace I believe right here. Yep. 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 That's exactly it. There's no rhyme or reason why I change glues guys really. Sometimes I use one for a particular reason. Sometimes I just it's whatever strikes me at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of put that up there. I, I want to make sure I don't affect that pocket because that's our, that's gonna be where our little um, whatever we put on the inside of this is gonna show through the window. 
This is some coffee dyed lace from my stash, so I thought I would put that on as well. So I'm just gonna put some Fabri-Tac here. You know what I am gonna do that. Let me grab a paper towel get that get rid of that glue because I don't want to add more bulk where I don't need it so we may have to I'll have to come back to this page because I don't want to add that while it's sticky because obviously then we're gonna have a problem so I'm just gonna set that over there and uh, I'll come back to that hopefully I'll remember what that was <laughs> okay so here we go six we're almost done now though so here is our beautiful beautiful butterfly I love this image so much and you can see I really really grunged it up it's on 20 pound paper so I'm got, I've got to do this quickly because I want to make sure that I have that going the right the right height so with art glitter glue or I mean Fabri-Tac you have this this uh, room to kind of finesse things, move things. So that looks to be really good. So where were we putting the crinkly paper? I don't know. I don't know. It can't really go, um, it can go kind of outside there, um, but not really out the side too much. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on so then I can kind of tear off the edges I don't want to have on there so oh and then I didn't make a pocket after all that I didn't make a pocket <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll make our pocket here we've got I cut this one open right there so that is a pocket as well this is going to get really bulky so I am going to glue on these three sides normally I put a lot of words and quotes and stuff in my journals I don't think I'm going to do that I might find some French some French um, stuff labels or whatever but I'm not gonna focus on the, the words so I love that oh I love that and then this is our last piece is just the back so this is the back front <laughs> not be, to be confused with the back back so what was the plan here I think this was going to go here and I actually now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and deliberately make this a pocket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece down first and then this square is gonna go up there and then we'll proceed with um, a pocket. Hopefully I won't forget, remind me that I wanna make a pocket. This video is taking me a lot longer than I thought. I thought since I had prepared everything, it was gonna be shorter, but we're coming up on an hour uh, real time, but I will be trimming that trimming that down so N not to worry okay there we go for some reason this edge is not inked not sure why and then we're going to place this one up here and let's make sure that this is okay here yep it looks good so let's put this on as not the pocket This is going to be our pocket. It's a little bit thinner than I would like. I generally like my pockets to be a little bit more stable, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna glue on three sides. So this long side. Okay, last piece. Woohoo! This was fun. And this is the back back. Okay, let's put it on. 
So guys, I would love um, if you would, if you're not a subscriber, if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, if you like this video, if you like the content that I'm putting out, I try not to do that very often. I mean, literally once every 20 videos or something, I will ask and remind people to subscribe if you like it. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to see um, when I put photo put videos up and um, of course like the video because that helps the traffic on my on my uh, channel and uh, again you know if you just popped in and, you, and you're not really sure you know there's never an obligation at all I no hard feelings um, I just like to invite so there we go there is our journal so far so probably what I will do is I'll probably decorate this off camera and I will come up with a couple of pieces of um, of ephemera to start with and then we'll make some tags, some scrappy tags on camera together. So um, my time that'll probably be the same day or the next day but for you it's going to be spread out because I have a lot on the calendar and including a surgery coming up so and my daughter's wedding and things. So I'm I'm putting these videos out a little ways so that they kind of spread out a little bit. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.